A reading from the Quran, chapter 52, The Mountain. In the name of God, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. By the mountain, by a scripture inscribed in unrolled parchment, by the much visited house, by the raised canopy, by the ocean ever filled, prophet, your Lord's punishment is coming. It cannot be put off. On the day when the sky sways back and forth and the mountains float away, woe on that day to those who deny the truth, who amuse themselves with idle chatter. On that day, they will be thrust into the fire of hell. This is the fire you used to deny. So this is sorcery? Do you still not see it? Burn in it. It makes no difference whether you bear it patiently or not. You are only being repaid for what you've done. Those who were mindful of God are in gardens and in bliss, rejoicing in the Lord's gifts. He has saved them from the torment of the blaze. Eat, drink with the healthy enjoyment as a reward for what you have done. They are comfortably seated on couches arranged in rows. We pair them with beautiful-eyed maidens. We unite the believers with their offspring who followed them in faith. We do not deny any of the rewards for their deeds. Each person is in pledge for his own deeds. We provide them with any fruit or meat they desire. They pass around a cup which does not lead to idle talk or sin. Devoted youths like hidden pearls wait on them. They turn to one another and say, when we were still with our families on earth, we used to live in fear. But God has been gracious to us and saved us from the torment of intense heat. We used to pray to him. He is the good and merciful one. So, Prophet, remind the people. By the grace of your Lord, Prophet, you are neither oracle nor madman. If they say he's only a poet, we shall wait his fate. Say, wait if you wish. I do am waiting. Does their reason really tell them to do this, or are they simply insolent people? If they say he has made it up himself, they certainly do not believe. Let them produce one like it. If what they say is true, were they created out of nothing? Were they creators? Did they create the heavens and the earth? No, they don't have any faith. Do they possess the Lord's treasures or have control over them? Do they have a ladder to climb in order to eavesdrop on heaven's secret? Let the eavesdropper produce clean and clear proof. Does God have daughters while you have sons? Do you, prophet, demand a payment from them that would burden them with debt? Do they have access to the unseen? Could they write it down? Do they think they can ensnare you? It is dis it is the disbelievers who have been ensnared. Do they really have another God beside God? God is far above anything they set along him. Even as they saw a piece of heaven falling down on them, they would say it's just a heap of clouds. <laughs> so leave them, prophet, until they face the day when they will be thunderstruck. The day when their snares will be of no use to them, when they get no help, a nearer punishment awaits evildoers, though most of them do not realize it. Wait patiently, prophet, for your Lord's judgment. You are under our watchful eyes. Celebrate the praise of your Lord when you rise. Glorify him at night as the fading of the stars.